Get in there. to his stuff. Is that something precious? The only birthday card I ever got from my mum. I'm sorry. I saw it's the only one or I saw you set fire to it. Both. But more about the fire. It was me, the glue. Quits. Come on, let's dry those eyes. Now, do you believe me? I believed you all along. Just wanted to see you do it again. What are those? They're the real certificates instead of the fakes you were going to hand out. Yeah, listen to this. Title of, for wet in the bed all the time. Give a thanks. I do not! My mum used to say she wanted the flood to come. To wash all the bad stuff away. So she could start again. Sorry, Tyler. That's the second time I've dropped you in it. Don't worry about it. So, I got no off wet in the bed, but it could be worse. Yeah. Tyler, you know your dream? Yeah. When the water comes, maybe we should build an ark. That's what I do. Then you can float away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be the first person ever to make the Queen laugh. No one can. Will you vote for me? If I laugh. OK, well, there were two sizzling sausages in the pan. And one of them said to the other one, is it me or is it hot in here? And the other one turned and said, ah, I'm talking sausage! But on Tough crowd, eh? She looks like shop. <laughs> I bet I can get mine in plaster. Yeah. We play Spies with Harry. We were playing something else. Can I help you? Hand it over. What did you want with your file, Tyler? I wanted to know what happened to my mum. What's put that on? She was mad, wasn't she? She found it a bit difficult to cope, that's all. If she's mad, then I'm mad too. It doesn't work like that. She's got curly hair. I've got curly hair. Yeah. She's got brown eyes. I've got brown eyes. Yeah. I've got all that from her. Why not this? You're your own person, Tyler. Not everything is inherited. But Tyler loves playing pranks. Not anymore, he doesn't. But that's not who he is. You try and be someone you're not, and it'll end up just going wrong. Well, yeah. People aren't going to take you seriously if it's just all pretend. You need to stay true to who you are. Be proud to be different. And you don't just change because someone tells you to. You do it because you want to. Electra, I'm really sorry. 
Oh, I didn't mean to splatter you. Nice shot. It's my fault, your ear, isn't it? What makes you say that? It's in my records. Your ear just after you had me. I have bipolar disorder, Tyler. It's a chemical imbalance which I could have had all my life, but there's no way of knowing for sure. But let me tell you one thing I do know, shall I? You are and always will be the best thing that ever happened to me. Is that understood? Even when I got really sick, it was always you I had to keep me warm at night. A day spent feeding the ducks, playing at the seaside. I keep them all in here. I want to help you. You've done more for me than you'll ever know, believe me. Remember when I was younger? And I used to ask you what number you were? Hmm? What number are you today? Three. And then tomorrow I'll be a six. And then even maybe a seven. Because it's going to get better, Tyler. I promise you. You need to let these doctors help you. But I don't want to let you go. Not again. I'll wait for you. For how long? Two weeks. Two years. It doesn't matter. Because I'll always be here. When did my little boy grow up, eh? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Best zombies ever. Ever. <laughs> Pathetic. What do you look like? Unfosterable. Right, Tyler? Right. Hey, look. It's not like adoption, you know. You still get this much contact with your mum. How often do you see her now? What, once, twice a week? I haven't seen her for ages. And she doesn't call me back. I've been keeping my promise, but I don't even know if she cares. Oh, God. That's OK. <laughs> Tyler? I know I promised I wouldn't get fostered. So you are getting fostered? I'm not saying that. It's just, if I did, it wouldn't change anything between us. I just can't bear the thought of you having another mum. I don't want another mum. But we can't live together right now, can we? So if a foster family does want me, do I always have to say no? No, you don't. I'm sorry, I've been selfish. Of course, you need to be in the place that's best for you. I would live with you if I could. I know, but you can't. So, um... I think you should go back to that party and talk to those foster parents. Um, Tyler, we've been thinking... You know those new tricks that you've got? What about them? How did you afford them? And they were free. But they cost loads. Please tell us you didn't steal them. I didn't. So how come they were free then? Well, this girl gave them to me. What girl? Hello. I love it. Has magic always been your thing? Pretty much. I like how you can make reality seem like it isn't reality. Never saw it like that. If I could do it for real, it would be even better. I could change so many things. I'd live in a proper house with mum and dad, and I'd even, you know. Magic my mum back? If I could. You better keep practicing then. I will. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I hate this bit. Oh, me too. Same time next week? Not necessarily. What does that mean? Let's talk to Mike first. What for? Come with me and you'll find out. 
Come on. I've been making really good progress with my treatment. That's wonderful news. In fact, I have a letter from my doctor. He's sending a copy to children's services. He thinks I'm ready to have Tyler full time again. You still coming paintballing with us? Of course I am. We're going to smash Finn and Bailey's team. So, are we all right then? Only if you promise to come back and see us loads. Of course I will. Best friends forever? Yeah. What are you doing? It's time for a new start. But they're my friends. You've got me now. I don't know you. Well, not really. I'm your family. So are they. They're the ones that laughed at my jokes, listen to my crazy schemes, help me sleep at night. They want me just to pretend like they don't exist. in my home for as long as I can remember. And I'd never want to take that away from you. I just didn't want to share you, that's all. I've missed out on so much of your life, Tyler. So how about I get to know your family first? Oh, yeah, I'd like that. Perhaps we could uh, try and organise some weekend visits with your mum. Oh, that'd be great. And no more dinosaurs. <laughs> oh! Oh! Jenny! I'm coming, I'm coming! Tyler! Get down! Let's go, boys! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! <coughs> Uncle Macamele! <coughs> I just didn't want anything to change this. Us being friends. It's important to me. Me too. So, guess you're going to that dinner on your own. Well, I could do. But I was thinking, if we really want to prove that boys and girls can just be friends. Hold back the river, let me look in your eyes. Hold back the river, so wide. One word about the skirt. <laughs> what do I say? You look great. The river, hold back. For a joke. Having fun being the bad boy? Not really. But I need to get real. The world's full of problems I can't fix. Doesn't mean you have to make them worse. You made a mistake trying to do good. So what? Remember earlier, when you told us to paint the happiest thing that came to mind? Oh. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> A yeti? <laughs> to you, dummy. Tyler, what are you doing here? We're meant to be meeting today. Oh, sorry, love. I completely forgot. Yo, Sal, is that the pizza? <laughs> sorry? Oh, come on. Sal's boyfriend. Your future's what you want to make it. Hi, Sal. I know it's been a bit crazy. I guess when you know, you know. I love you, Sal. What do you mean? At the flat. Why didn't you just leave me there? Oh, yeah. I could just leave you. Why not? Because you might have got hurt. So? So what if I got hurt? You don't care? That's not true. <laughs> you don't. You don't care! You never have done! You never will! I care about too much! That's the problem! I hate that 
but you're somebody else. Absolutely hate it! I'm sorry, I... I should've just kept my mouth shut. Are you OK? I feel like I've been carrying this massive weight around me for ages. And now it's gone. I don't know, I feel good. Like a massive spot that's finally been popped. Kind of gross, but... Yeah. I never thought I'd actually admit how I felt about you. But I wanted to. I was just... I don't know. Scared I'd lose you. Would you just kiss me? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, sorry. If we want to be together, we can't both stay here, can we? You know the rules. But I don't want you to leave. So what do we do then? Maybe there's only one thing we can do. Nothing. Don't get you. I want you here, with me. Not miles away somewhere. Maybe it's best if we just stay mates. For now, at least. I owed you one anyway. <laughs> How'd you work that out? Yeah, I got in trouble, but taking risks. That's not like me at all. It felt pretty good, and I wouldn't have done that without you. Hi. Wow. That was quick. Well, I love working in radio. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh. I thought this whole Lethal G business was going to put you off. Hmm. Might have done before, but you were right. I want to be someone that grabs life by the scruff of the neck. <laughs> Cheers, Mike. Yesterday, um, there was something I wanted to say. You met someone else. I get it. No. No, don't be silly. No way. Nothing like that. Well, what then? I just wanted to give you this. Saw it in this little shop in town. Thought you might like it. I wasn't sure if we thought it was cheesy or whatever. <laughs> what do you reckon then? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. Quite like the new you as well. <laughs> this prom. Let's do my head in. I might not go anyway. What? It's just easier that way. Easy for who? Me, I guess. It's just not going to be what I thought it would be. It can't be, can it? Do you mean me and you? Yeah. And there'll be people there. And they'll be together, a boyfriend and girlfriend. And we'll be what, Jodie? Two people on our own. You can still have that dance. What's the point, though? We get back here and nothing's changed. I never will. What are you saying? That it'd be easier with Piper? Would you stop bringing her up? Come on, say it. You know your trouble. You never listen. You only want to hear what you want to hear. It's because you never tell me what you're really thinking. I'm telling you now. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Me and you, we can't be anything. Crazy to even think it. So give that to Piper. Tell her you made a mistake and you can't take her tonight. Be great. Dancing. This is gonna be the best night ever. Just Wow. You look amazing. I was hoping you change your mind. Yeah, of course. I mean. Why wouldn't I? Hi, Jodie. But how do I know I'm making the right decisions? You just gotta be true to yourself, Tyler. Be your own man. Do that, 
You'll be just fine. I wanted to talk. I'm not sure I want to. Please. Oh, that's Piper. I'm trying to say sorry. I got it all wrong. I came here with the wrong girl. I danced with the wrong girl. I don't want to keep getting it wrong. We're done, Tyler. We're over. No. We've just started. You and me. If that's what you want. It's okay. I get it. I've blown it. Tyler. Just kiss me, you idiot. We've had some news about your dad. My dad? Kamal just told us. I'm sorry, Tyler, but your dad's passed away. Tyler, look, why should I waste my time thinking about him? He didn't think about me and mum. He knew she was vulnerable and he left her to deal with a baby on her own just ran off to another country and never came back. He did come back. What? Dear Sal, I'm sorry for doing this to you. I'm sorry for lots of things. Everything just keeps going wrong for me. It's like I was born under an unlucky star. You said you deserve better and you're right. You deserve a better man and our son deserves a better dad. I'm going abroad for a while where I can't mess up your lives anymore. Look after yourself and look after Tyler, he's a great kid. I am like him. Hey. I run away from my problems too. You didn't run away from this. You faced your fear. And when you do that, however uncomfortable it makes you feel, you end up stronger. <sighs> yeah. More self-help rubbish. No. No, you're right. Let's get back to the youth centre. I want to do my talk. When I found out my dad had passed away, it brought back bad feelings I had as a kid. I tried to pretend I didn't care. But it didn't work. Because your feelings always catch up on you. Now I know about my dad. I don't feel as sad. You can't change the past. You can only change the future. But I don't have to do this alone. I've got a great mum. A pretty cool stepdad. And good friends. So I'm not going to run away from anything anymore. I don't know exactly what I want to do with my life, but I know how I'm going to live it. By sharing how I feel. I've got some really big news. This is a ticket to St Lucia. I want us to stay together. Are you being serious? Both of you, my office, now. You might be allowed to continue living here, but there'd be rules. It's time to take back control. What's the plan, Tyler? To get a job. A place to live eventually. 
What have you always wanted? Since you were little. To be with my mum. And what then? Go to broadcast college. Become a reporter. Travel the world covering big stories. Win awards. Get married. Settle down. <laughs> Not yet. No, me neither. Not yet. I want to go to college. I want to live, Tyler. Just like you do. We've grown up together. And we've had the best time. And I wouldn't stop a second of it, not for anything. Remember when I looked us in the attic? And we told each other how we really feel. And we agreed. Stay together. We need to stay apart. And I kind of think that's what we need to do right now. Because this... I don't think this would be good for either of us, Tyler. Deep down, do you? Really? Tyler? Tyler, please stop crying. Everything you're saying is right. But it still hurts. Because we love each other. You need to go. I bought that for you. You keep it. Everywhere I go in the DG, I'll have something that reminds me of you. You need something that's going to remind you of me too. And then when we meet again, you give it back. Get on the plane. I'm going to show you the world just how amazing you are. OK? to the moon and back for you. No rocket, nothing. <laughs> Wrapping my arms up, crazy. <laughs> I love you, Jodie Jackson. Always have, and I always will. I love you too.